We are making our way into the Storybook Circus area to ride Dumbo and Barnstormer. We are sad though because our favorite store, Big Top Souvenirs, is closed right now. It's where we normally sneak over and get our chocolate covered Rice Krispie treats, which you can still get on Main Street. But still, this is our secret stash and now it's gone. So that's okay. Hopefully it'll be back open soon. So we're going to go ride Dumbo and Barnstormer and we're looking forward to it. So where will we go today? Meet me out among the endless possibilities. We'll laugh all the clouds away. I know someday we'll have to stay. But where will we go today? Okay, we are in line for Dumbo. Social distancing decals on the ground, keeping the line space out. Elephants are usually pretty socially distant from each other, so we're probably not going to see a ton of changes on this ride. And just as expected, the big old amazing Dumbo Circus Ring Play area is closed. to get off because nobody else was in line it was awesome so we enjoyed it they didn't really have to do anything social distancing other than close the playground everything else was the same so it was great so this is the part of storybook circus at this time of the year it would be overflowing with kids because there's water features that come out of that uh, train area but that obviously is not happening right now not many people in storybook circus and certainly it would be very nice if you could just walk through some splashing water on a hot July day like this one. We're going to ride the most high speed train in Magic Kingdom, the Barnstormer. So Barnstormer is always a pretty short line, so it's even shorter now, which is great. So we're going to go ride it and we are excited. Okay, the line for the Barnstormer is rarely this long, but they have the decals in place this far back just in case this is a fun little kitty coaster and another great thing about this line is it offers you the best view in the house okay. well, happy birthday. for the tron coaster construction the tracks all up and painted they're working on the indoor space now we did hear from a cast member that some parts had been delayed from overseas so the construction may be set back upward toward three months there's a best shot that you're gonna get of the sean coaster construction all thanks to the barnstormer oh yep we just got out the barnstormer and there was zero weight we were like the only people in the car so it was awesome and the kids really enjoy it. It's a good good coaster for small children. Well, that's about a wrap for Storybook Circus. No big top souvenirs, no splash pads, no meet and greets. See you soon, Storybook Circus. We will come back soon. Walking past Ariel's Grotto. You can't meet the Little Mermaid today. There is no character meeting greets going on right now. That's sad. The Prince Eric's Village Market also is closed. So no turkey leg, no jumbo pretzel. We're going to go ride Under the Sea Journey of the Little Mermaid. Okay, we are in line for Under the Sea Journey to the Little Mermaid. They are social distancing the lines. The wait time for this ride is only about five minutes, which means it's basically a walk on. It just takes five minutes to walk through the line just to get to the ride. So walking in this ride and looking at the please wait here, you can easily see and pay attention to the shells that are embedded into the ground makes it feel more authentic 
with being near the coach. Fantasyland, Bonjour, Village Gifts is closed. The same as Gaston's Tavern for Gaston losing money. Also, unfortunately, closed a really underrated experience is Enchanted Tales of the Bell not operating right now. So it is noon and Peter Pan's standby entrance is only 15 minutes, just goes to show you that now that all four parks are open, it's really nice being in the park today because the crowds are kind of spread out more, so the wait times are a little bit less than they were a few days ago. Now oddly enough, Small World made 20 minutes wait. When did you ever think you'd see the day where the Small World line would be longer than the Peter Pan line. So when we were here just a couple of days ago, there was a big board in front of Small World. Now it has been removed. The original facade of Small World is back. We decided yesterday we wanted to have a sit down meal for lunch today to break up our day. The quick service has been going well, but it's a little stressful for me. I'd like to just sit down and relax a minute. And so we booked Liberty Tree, one of our favorites at Magic Kingdom. So we're very excited to enjoy a nice lunch. We did the mobile check-in um, on our phones and now we're just waiting outside until they text us that we can come in. Okay, so we're in the Liberty Tree Tavern. We have a menu QR code on the table. So we have to hover the phone over it. And then it will ask you to open the web browser and it will show you the Liberty Tree menu. So if you're familiar with Liberty Tree Tavern, things have changed a little bit. Now it's come to a all you care to enjoy bill of fare with turkey breast, pot roast, oven roasted pork and mashed potatoes, seasonal vegetables, herb stuffing and house made macaroni and cheese topped off with some toffee cake and vanilla ice cream. The adult prices are $39 and for children $21. So that's quite a bit different than what you've seen in the past at Liberty Tree Tavern. Okay, we got our family style meal. We've got green beans, mashed potatoes, macaroni and cheese, pork, turkey, and hot roast. Mmm, this looks yummy. Well, I am stuffed. We just had lunch at Liberty Tree Tavern and it was amazing. Um, the only other time we've eaten here, we ordered off the menu at a la carte, and this time was totally different. It was all family style, but all you can eat. So for example, like we all really liked the mac and cheese, and they only gave us one bowl, so we got another bowl of mac and cheese. That type of thing. And it was all excellent. The food was really good, the service was great, the experience was awesome, and it was a really just a good break to cool down and relax. So we always recommend Liberty Tree Tavern every trip, but highly recommend it even family style. and Dale are about to go out on the water and kind of make some rounds and waving at guests. Pretty cool how the characters are out socially distancing themselves from the guests but still visible, still waving and doing a great job. All right so headed back to Haunted Mansion where the wait time is only 15 minutes. Beware foolish mortals. So we walked right on to Haunted Mansion and now walking to the Winnie the Pooh ride. We are about to ride the Winnie the Pooh ride. There is a 15 minute wait, which is longer than I thought it was, but we are so excited because we didn't get to ride it on our first time over here to Magic Kingdom, so we're riding it now. 
Okay, so we're in the Winnie the Pooh ride line. Social distancing markers on the ground. Only a 10 to 15 minute wait. So. Typical July afternoon, stroller parking in this area would be jam packed. But today, there's only about five or six strollers here across from the carousel. Let's ride the carousel again. You know, one of the best things about the low crowds is you really get to soak in the details. And so right now, just soaking in the detail of the castle and its splendor and the new paint job makes it look bigger and more beautiful and it just stands out more and it just catches your eye everywhere you are, no matter where you are in the park. If you can get a glimpse of the castle, it just takes your breath away. So we were just riding the carousel and we were just looking at it thinking, how wonderful it is to be here. And we're just so thankful for that. We all got to go in country there. Okay, we are now going into Country Bears. Some roads are closed. And also make sure to be physically distancing. Once again, folks, please be physically distancing. Only sit in the roads that aren't labeled road closed. And only be sitting forward to a spot. Thank you. Hey, Henry, what's going on now? Let's get on with the show. Well, folks, this concludes our show. So thanks for bearing with us to the bear end. We got to see the country bears. We had to wait a little bit because they were doing a cleaning. So even the seats were a little bit damp when we came in from the cleaning solution. Every other row you could sit in and they had, because it's not seats, it's benches. It had long things that said, do not sit here. And so we had to sit four together, but they did a great job. And of course, the country bears are the best. pirates again and the smells were stronger so thank you Disney for that because I did not really even smell the fire a couple of days ago so it was awesome to smell all the smells I love the smells of pirates and also we got wet <laughs> one of the explosions happened right by the boat and we got wet wetter than we've ever gotten on pirates so it was really awesome okay now we are finally entering Tomorrowland for the last bit of our day in Magic Kingdom, most of the rides today have had under a 20 minute wait. It's been a fantastic day. Crowds have been light. We've seen lots of characters on the streets today, more so than I think the other day. I think they're finally getting the hang of things now because they've been open for almost a week. And Space Mountain has a 10 minute Standby line. Here we go. Let's go both times. This one? Here we go. Oh, guys, this way is that. Straight up. Okay, guys. So we're going to ride the Astro Orbiter. These kids are super excited about riding it. We've never actually ridden it before because we never wanted to wait in the line. I mean, there was no line. So here we go. Get Pilots, on the prepare for Orbiter, lift off. Astro Orbiter. Tomorrowland. 
and from the top of the Astro Orbiter. What a great view of the Speedway, the Tron Coaster, Space Mountain, and the People Mover. And of course, Cinderella's Castle. Okay, we just rode the Astro Orbiter and it was awesome because it's windy and overcast and it was just really fun and we really enjoyed it. It was great views. Alright, so Lulu and I have split up from Zephy and Monica. They're going to go ride Haunted Mansion. Lulu and I are going to go ride Pirates. A little overcast. The rain is surrounding the area, but there's nothing coming down right now. It is super comfortable inside the park. This has almost been a perfect day. Very low crowds. The weather hasn't been terrible. It's been amazing. What a magical day at the Magical Kingdom. Some health and safety reminders here in Frontierland. And then all of the wait times, the, the rides, 10 minute wait for Haunted Mansion, Pirates of the Caribbean, 10 minutes, 15 minute Jungle Cruise, all on the screen, right across from the Swiss Family Treehouse. So we're walking on Main Street, and we're going to go in one of the shops. So the entrance is right here by the employees. And you go in at the important gallery. One of the newer experiences at Magic Kingdom is you can become a sorcerer of the Magic Kingdom. And it's right here on Main Street. You can learn magic spells and do some fun things around the park. But it's over across the street from the barber shop, which is currently closed, and the car barn. That's where you sign up to do those fun things. The Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> there are no character meet and greets with Tinkerbell or Mickey Mouse, unfortunately. So at Tony's, since you're called in by your mobile check-in, there is little seating here at Tony's. And normally they play little, the movie of the Lady in the Tramp, and can't do that right now in Tony's. Well, it is seven o'clock, which means the park is officially closed, and we are just beginning our dinner reservation. We were very strategic on when we booked it. We are at Tony's Town Square, which is right at the entrance to Disney World, Magic Kingdom, and so we are very excited to have our spaghetti and pizza and Italian meal as our last meal at Magic Kingdom on this trip. I got a wish of Let's see what it is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Face Mickey. Yeah. Ah, I got the Mickey. Okay, so we're at Tony's, and just like all the other restaurants, you have to get the little card with the QR code on it. Take your phone, scan it, and then open the browser, and it will load the menu for Tony's or the restaurant that you're looking to eat at. Pretty cool. And she was a baby. I got the spaghetti. I got the pizza with grapes on the side. I got a pepperoni pizza. And I got the spaghetti. Mamma mia. Mamma mia.
feeling a little emotional as we wrap up our second and also last day in Magic Kingdom on this COVID trip. It has been perfect, the perfect getaway. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, put it together. And we just loved it. And thank you to Disney for opening. Thank you for bringing back the magic. Thank you for keeping us all safe. Thank you for just letting us make these memories together. So thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe and we will see you real soon.